Specifically, it's quite descriptive. We simply want to know how fast snails move, how much of a garden they can explore, and, uh, and where they tend to go. It's extraordinary that we don't know that. Well, we know they move slowly, but you actually monitored them. and Maybe you can talk us through this, exactly how they do move and how far they go. Sure, yeah. The only fact I could find out about snails and their movement rates is from, this, is from the World Snail Racing Championships, and it's in very artificial conditions. You, you didn't hurt them, from them We're did using non-toxic glue, we're using watch batteries, and we're sticking LED lights onto them, and that's so that we can follow them at night. And in some cases, we're using ultraviolet paint as well, and again, we can cast ultraviolet light across the garden to monitor them. This is snails in their natural habitat, moving under natural conditions, so we think they're behaving naturally. They're not that oh. fast. But the point is that it's fast enough for them to cover, over several hours, it's fast enough for them to cover about 10 metres of a, of a British garden. And that's, that's probably about the size of an average British garden. They know their way back home, don't they? So we have a previous study in which we show really quite clearly that they have a strong homing instinct. They, I think there are probably distances beyond which they can't come back, but just lobbing them over the fence probably isn't enough. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the other things that you've discovered about them, including the, the disease they carry. The, Parasites. Sorry, the parasite. The yes. reason for this research is to make the public and especially dog owners more aware of snails and their behaviour because they carry a nematode worm, which is a parasite which can uh, be very harmful to dogs. And we're keen that uh, dog owners are aware of the parasite, they're aware of the fact that snails also carry it, and that if dogs were to ingest snails and slugs, they would be at risk of contracting so this parasite. It's only if they eat them. Uh, Not if they just sniff at them or... We know too little about this, but we know that they can contract it from eating the snails. Foxes in the wild will catch this through eating snails. Our main concern is about dogs uh, consuming snails and slugs. There's something so fascinating about a snail, isn't there? Well, tell us a bit more about the, the snail trail, the, the slime. Well, what, what's, how do they create that? Well, it's all part of their internal mechanisms. It's a physiological mechanism which allows them to move. This is how they move, and we, th uh, we think they spend about 30% of their energy budget on making that slime. So, so it's, it's just expensive. in order to make it sort of slippery enough underneath? Exactly, yeah. They, sim they, they cannot move across dry surfaces. They need this slime to create their local. And they, they use other snails' trails? That's right. So it makes sense. If I, if I had to waste energy on moving, and I saw someone else moving and I could exploit that, then I would. I'd go behind the person in Are front. Are they doing cycling? Yeah. Exactly. So it's like slipstreaming on a very, on a very kind of slow scale. They'll use the slime of other snails.